Ever wonder why certain songs give you chills or make you want to dance? It's not just a feeling, it's your brain on music. We're diving deep into the fascinating science behind how sound waves directly impact your emotions and cognitive abilities, revealing secrets about your favorite playlists you never knew. Right now, as you're listening to this, your brain is performing an incredible symphony of neural activity. Music isn't just entertainment, it's one of the most powerful tools we have for altering our mental state. Today, we're exploring the intricate connection between sound waves and your emotional world, and why understanding this relationship might just change how you think about your next playlist. When music enters your ears, it triggers a cascade of brain activity that's nothing short of remarkable. Sound waves travel through your auditory cortex, but here's where it gets interesting. Music doesn't just stay in the hearing center. It activates multiple brain regions simultaneously. Your limbic system, the emotional center of your brain, lights up like a Christmas tree. The amygdala processes emotional intensity, while the hippocampus connects the music to memories. This is why hearing that song from your high school graduation can instantly transport you back in time. But there's more. Music also activates your brain's reward center, releasing dopamine, the same chemical involved in eating, falling in love, and even drug addiction. This explains why your favorite song can literally give you a natural high. Scientists have found that anticipating a favorite musical moment can release as much dopamine as actually hearing it. Now, let's talk about mood manipulation. And yes, that's exactly what music does. Different musical elements trigger specific emotional responses in predictable ways. Fast tempos in major keys typically elevate mood and energy levels. This happens because upbeat music increases heart rate and stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, making you feel more alert and positive. Think about how pump-up songs work before a workout. They're literally preparing your body for action. Conversely, slower tempos and minor keys activate the parasympathetic nervous system, promoting relaxation and introspection. This is why sad music can actually be therapeutic. It allows emotional processing and can even reduce stress hormones like cortisol. Here's something fascinating. Your brain processes rhythm separately from melody. This is why you might find yourself tapping your foot to a song you don't even like. Your motor cortex is responding to the beat independently of your emotional reaction to the tune. But music's influence extends far beyond emotions into cognitive enhancement. Research shows that listening to music can improve focus, memory, and even problem-solving abilities. The famous Mozart effect might be overhyped, but there's real science here. Background music, particularly instrumental pieces, can improve performance on spatial temporal tasks. This happens because music engages the right hemisphere of your brain while leaving the left hemisphere free to focus on analytical tasks. Music also enhances neuroplasticity, your brain's ability to form new neural connections. Musicians' brains show increased connectivity between hemispheres and enlarged areas responsible for motor control, auditory processing, and spatial coordination. But here's the exciting part. You don't need to be a musician to benefit. Even casual listening can promote brain health and cognitive flexibility. For memory, rhythm and melody create powerful mnemonic devices. This is why you can remember song lyrics from decades ago, but forget where you put your keys yesterday. Music provides multiple retrieval cues, rhythm, melody, and emotional context, making information stickier. So how can you harness this knowledge? Think of music as a tool in your mental toolkit. For productivity, choose instrumental music with a steady tempo around 60-70 beats per minute. This matches your resting heart rate and promotes focus without distraction. For exercise, songs with 100 and 2140 beats per minute can increase endurance and motivation by synchronizing with optimal workout intensity. For stress relief, look for music in major keys with simple, repetitive melodies. Nature sounds combined with soft instrumentation are particularly effective at lowering cortisol levels. And for sleep, slow, familiar music without sudden dynamic changes 
can help transition your brain into rest mode by slowing down neural oscillations. The next time you put on headphones or turn up the radio, remember, you're not just listening to music, you're conducting a complex neurochemical orchestra in your brain. Every song is a potential mood modifier, cognitive enhancer, and emotional processor. Music is perhaps the most accessible tool we have for intentionally altering our mental state. So be deliberate about your sonic choices. Your brain is listening, responding, and adapting with every note. What's your go-to song for changing your mood? Drop it in the comments. Your playlist might just be the perfect brain hack someone else needs.